Hi, my name is Mark Walker. I'm the editorial director of the FinTech Times, and we're here at Seamless in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia uh, for Seamless TV. Uh, we've got a great interview coming up for you now. Um, I'm going to ask my panelist uh, to introduce himself to the camera. Hello, this is Ayman Bidoun. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Plans for Less Group. I've uh, been with the group for the past uh, five years. It has been an exciting journey, and uh, I look forward to many years ahead. Um, leading the world in off-price retail. Fantastic. Um, I've obviously frequented your stores uh, many times. Um, well, give us a little bit of the history of uh, where you started, what region you started in, and, and some uh, a little bit of your expansion. Absolutely. So we started in 1996 in Beirut. Um, it was pretty small business, and then uh, we moved our headquarters to the UAE. Um, then into, that was in the year 2000, um, and since then we've been expanding. It has been we have been on an expanding spree with the, for the past five years. Um, with with more than uh, 75 stores in, uh, in the UAE, more than uh, 95 stores now in the GCC region, um, mainly uh, the Brands for Less concept, an off-price leading concept in uh, the MENA region. So uh, today we are expanding across all countries in the GCC first, and then we're going to expand our, uh, our operations to other markets, which we are going to reveal very soon. Um, so, from the point of view, obviously, we're, we're here talking about the retail uh, experience, e-commerce, uh, and obviously financial services. How do you see that as a, as a concept for, within your role, and, and how is Brands for Less in sort of embracing the, the customer experience? Well, that's definitely something that we uh, need to um, weigh our uh, power on, so meaning we have to channel all uh, kinds of payments to the customer, because the customer now is conscious of different payment methods, such as the BNP, BNPL providers buy now, pay later, different installments. Uh, so what we do is we try to leverage our customer data and provide them with what they need based on their feedback as well. Uh, so our customers would like um, buy now, pay later solutions, for example. So we partnered with three different providers, giving them more options. Um, at the same time, we started our digital wallet solution where they can have all their loyalty membership points, uh, all the refunds, all their everything into one digital wallet which they can use to pay um, exchange items and have everything sorted out in one application. Okay, and that, that digital wallet was one of your own, so your, your own solution effectively to Absolutely, increase yeah. loyalty at the same time as, as enabling them to, to make easier payments. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's, it's one of the things that, that falls under the one ecosystem that we're trying to create. Uh, so it's a one cycle uh, within the Brands for Less ecosystem that the customer can benefit from. Fantastic. And what sort of trends have you seen across the region um, of how people are preferring to pay? Are, are they more uh, contactless, tapping on payments? Is it more wallets, phones? What, what's your sort of so experience? So what we're seeing is um, around 62% of customers would like to pay using their uh, mobile uh, mobile payment solutions, such as the tap to pay. Um, around 20% of our customers go with the, um, the mobile uh, mobile in-house developed uh, solution, which is the digital wallet, and then the rest paying cash, which is less than, uh, more or less, less than 22, 20, 23 percent of the customers, which is something that has significantly changed, especially after the pandemic. Yeah, I can imagine that the pandemic was quite a catalyst for a lot of people moving away from cash. And that. Correct. Where do you think the, the future of cash is? Is it something you think that you will still continue to use or is it more and more you're seeing less and less need for it? So um, as, I, as I previously said, so, uh, we try to give the, channel, the, the, um, the customer with all sorts of channels uh, and at the same time all sorts of payment options. So we'd like to continue doing the cash payment because some tourists would like to do that uh, instead of using their credit card and getting charged with hefty uh, interest rates, for example. So we'll, we're going to keep all sorts of payment options to the clients for them to be benefiting from each and every transaction that they want to do. Okay. okay, thinking about other sort of payment options, obviously here in the kingdom, open banking is quite a, a, a large contributor to the, the vision, uh, 2030. Um, from where we're from, from the UK and Europe, open banking has been around quite a while, and the term of open banking payments has come in, where consumers can actually pay directly from their bank accounts to a merchant. Um, is this something that you're, you're seeing, thinking about? So that's something that we're absolutely looking at. So we are in discussions with some players in the market, and the GCC region uh, and we will soon be launching that again in parallel with what they are doing in, in terms of initiatives and uh, doing that in this particular market as you said it's still in the US uh, in the UK and in, the, in Europe 
in the region it's still new uh, but again we are having some discussions with some players and we will be uh, riding the horse let me put in that perspective I think that's the best way of looking at it is because it's obviously not quite there yet correct um, but it's obviously something that people are starting yep. to talk about and starting to think about so yep. worth definitely some attention absolutely and sort of thinking um, a little bit into the future um, what do you think the trends are going to be if we were to sit down here again this time next year um, I think we'd be discussing uh, the 3.0 world. So I think uh, the metaverse is going to be the next uh, the next channel, which we will also be providing to the customer. Again, um, it's it has been uh, having its own uh, peaks and lows to put in that perspective. But I think it will be a major channel in um, in, uh, in the retail environment. Is there going to be a brands for less shop in the metaverse? Uh, if you want to know it right now, yes, we're going to have a brands for less shop in the metaverse. Uh, we're also going to get to have a, a, a unique concept in the metaverse, not uh, the actual and usual brands for less concept that you see uh, offline or online. Sounds very intriguing. I can see yeah. you're just <laughs> tempting us for, for more information. Hopefully, watch this space and we'll see some more. Hopefully. Thank you very much for spending time and speaking with us here at Seamless TV, powered by the FinTech Times. Thank you. Thank you very much for, uh, for having me. Thank you.